Well, good morning. Here we are on Gibbs Street. So we'll uh, take a look around here. A little circle. We've got some apartments over here. House across the street. Looking down the street. Okay, so uh, as I look at this house, I'm kind of seeing that we kind of have the original house there and then various parts have been added on over the years. So the main roof line up there is the original house and then uh, things have been added on in all directions. So this side here may have been kind of a garage, I imagine. And then, uh, yeah, so some places I can see the slab foundation and some it's covered up by this kind of cement board stuff here and then in this corner here the cement board is kind of broken away and i see some wood framing resting right on a slab which kind of makes me think that this is a garage it's been converted to a living space here okay back up a little bit so we have this uh, composite siding everywhere it looks fine looks like it's doing its job kind of got this little wing over here that's been added on and uh, we'll look closer at that uh, I got the front porch here, a couple of these little eyelets here that, you know, could be a trip hazard. want to get rid of those. Uh, got a tarp on the roof, so that's kind of telling us what's going on there. Uh, this gutter might not be positioned correctly. <laughs> Several places the gutters are looking like they're uh, overflowing, not, not quite functioning correctly. Okay, make our way around the house. So we have a gas meter here. It is shut off right now. This section here, we also have that kind of cement board over the foundation. And then over here, we can kind of see the foundation some more. Well, let's step back a little here and look at this. Kind of, uh, kind of see the original house with the main roof line and then this section in the front added on and then the section in the back and we'll get to that in a moment but we'll walk up and look at this uh, some some of the slab is exposed here looks like it's not a real deep footing here might not have a footing on this part but where we meet up with the other house it looks like the slab goes a lot deeper uh, we have some corrosion on the gas line there that should be fixed Okay, so we got the electrical meter on the side of the house. We got a new service up real high. Looks like there's where the old one was and that's been pulled. So that can just be finally be removed. Haven't looked at this yet, but it looks like a modern 200 amp panel. Looks fine. Okay, so we'll make our way around here. Uh, in the back of the house, we've kind of had this little shed area added on. It's got a pretty low roof. Uh, obviously a different slab here. Uh, you know, it doesn't, definitely no insulation there. Got the bare plywood here, moss growing on the roof. Oh, kind of gutters aren't really functioning as well as we'd like. Take a look around the back here now. Okay, so kind of more tarps, mishmash of roofs. We'll go up on the roof in a few moments. Uh, in the back, we kind of have a uh, kind of a bikeway going along here, going from that shopping center down there. There's the shed. So yeah, we'll just keep looking back here. So obviously we've got a flat roof that's uh, it's got some kind of asphalt material on it that looks like it's failing. Got a pretty short door here. This door has been trimmed. Uh, oh, got some unpainted trim around the window. Looks like kind of a homemade window. Uh, let's see, coming back here, missing some siding trim. Got an exposed beam right there that has a little bit of damage. I think you can just cut that off and it should be fine. There's a gutter dripping. You can watch that drip as we stand here. Uh, so back here we've got a Kenmore, looks like it's a 06 uh, AC unit. Got the shutoff, a GFCI outlet. 
little stuff growing around the refrigerant lines here. So we got this white line, white PVC pipe here. I think it's a drain line. It appears to be connecting to the sewer over there. I'll look in the house more and try to figure that out, but it may be coming from the kitchen sink. And instead of going into the old garage slab, it's just kind of going down here and into something on the side over here. It looks like it's attaching to a black pipe in the ground. And it sure looks like a sewer pipe, but sometimes people have a dry well too, so don't know for sure. Um, this outlet right here has a reverse polarity with the wiring. Let's see, uh, we got some more gutters here. That's Let's see, our lighting's not so good, but gutter's not working there. Uh, dryer vent is missing a cover. So let's walk around and look at that shed. A lot of the gutters are just, the downspouts are just kind of terminating like right there, so it'd be good to have some kind of splash block at minimum. Oh boy, don't I ask, they have some kind of drip irrigation system up on this 4x4 thing. I tried to figure it out, but I don't know what it is. Okay, so we have this shed structure. It actually looks better on the inside. Looks like it's probably one of those kits, like from uh, Home Depot. Can't really tell what it's sitting on. Must be on some blocks. Raised up a bit off the ground. That's nice. Let's see. Uh, little electrical box with no cover, no cover there, no cover there, no light bulb there. So, uh, yeah, we should get covers on them, maybe put ground fault protection. Uh, looks okay in here. An OSB thing out here, but uh, yeah, the floor feels solid. I'm not seeing too much black growth. Okay, well I will uh, go inspect the roof and do a video of the roof next.